Welcome back to County Line TV. I got a very unfortunate text yesterday that we are not going to have the lift in time to fix the Corvette without laying on the dirty floor. So today I'm going to lay on the dirty floor and look at what's wrong with the Corvette. Um, I, I was told that the lift would be here like in the May time, which then they had problems with the lifts coming through the ports or whatever and then the container got held anyway uh it's out of my control it's whatever it'll come when it comes uh a little bummed not upset if that makes sense like i'm not angry i'm just bummed anyway um don't forget to subscribe because we're giving away a car so i'll link that right here get subscribed let's get into the corvette <laughs> So with the fact that that wheel has a lot of movement side to side, but not really up to down, um, I'm pretty confident that it's just the tie rod, which really isn't that big of a deal. So hope so, pie. Expectations down low. <laughs> Let's hope it's just a tie rod. I'm gonna get this wheel off. Gotta take this very curly uh, cutter pin out. One eternity later. Well, the cutter pin was uh, doing its job. Doing its job? Yeah, yeah. Well, with it spinning in, with the ball joint spinning, I guess that's sort of a good thing. That just came out of there so easy. Well, if it's been slapping around, like, it could probably loosen itself up a decent amount. Yeah. Just throwing it up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. My inner's bent too. Rip. That's not straight. Well, <clears throat> I guess I'm on a kick of really short episodes here. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here in a second. Um, I ordered a new outer tie rod and two new inner tie rods because that inner's bent and I think that inner's going to be bent too. I think I need to put some uh, angle stops in the car because it looks like the tie rods are making contact with the coilover. Um, I'll show you why I say that real quick actually since we're here. Um, struggles real uh, with the wheel turned way out here I can't turn the steering rack but you can tell that 
we're getting into a situation here where those two things are pretty close together. So I think that was out and in over here. I think there's going to be some interference there. Could be wrong. I don't know. But that inner tie rod is bent, regardless of how it got bent. It is bent. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end it. The if you saw anything on the hood here, just don't pay attention to that. That's for another video. I can't imagine why that inner tie rod or outer tie rod are bad. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get those changed whenever they come in. I think it's going to be like four or five days before they get here. So unfortunately, this car is going to sit here taking apart for four or five days. I could slide it back together to drive it in and out of the shop, but that's only if I need to because I'd rather not undo what I've done just to redo what I've done and then undone. Just Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe. Click on this video, that playlist, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.